Hi, my name is Julie, hands behind the indigo handmade design. Welcome to my channel and while you are here, please subscribe, like my video and ring the bell so you get notified every time I post something new. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this dress. It's very easy to make and beginner friendly. Let's start. Go ahead and measure your chest and your hips. Uh, so my chest and hips ha have the same measurement. I've chained 170 chains and it's a size medium, a classic fit. And then we are going to work in the round in half double crochets and then from row 6 till row 68 we are going to work in double crochets joining every time together and every time we, we begin a new row we are going to turn our work then we are going to attach our fringes and make two so shoulder straps okay so for my dress I've used this cotton yarn it's a fingering yarn says to work with a 2.5 till 3 mm crochet hook and I for the fringes I've used this yarn so here are the information and we are also going to need a elastic rope. You can also use elastic band. And we are going to need a yarn needle, measuring tape, and a pair of scissors. Of course, we are going to need a hook, so a 2.5 mm hook. Okay, so now let's start. Now, make... I've already measured my... Um, also over my chest and cut my elastic rope. And now we are going to chain 170 Okay, so now I've made my chain and this should go over your chest and you have to pull a little bit on your chain and um, go ahead and close your chain uh, pay attention not twisting your chain and we are going to close with a slip stitch and make two chains and now we are going to work in the round in half double crochet now take your elastic rope and we are going to incorporate our elastic rope while we are going to make our half double crochet so go in your first stitch and make a half double crochet and hold your elastic rope just like so work like this one half double crochet in each chain 
till the end of the row. So I'm at the end of my row, now we are going to slip stitch in the second chain and make two chains, this counts as a half double crochet and now we are going to work one half double crochet in each stitch till we have five rows in total. So this is our second round. Okay, so now I have my five uh, rows, so round, rounds of half double crochet. Now slip stitch in the second chain. Close our round and then chain 3. This counts as a double crochet and go in the next stitch and work one double crochet and in the next stitch another double crochet. And this is how we are going to work till the end of the round. And then we are going to close our round with a slip stitch, chain 3 and turn our work. So we are going to turn our work each time we start a new round. I've worked like this till I had a total of 68 rounds. Okay, so now I've reached the length of my dress, so now we are going to attach some fringes. So my fringes are 15 centimeters long, so I've cut my yarn 30 centimeters long and I've already attached some fringes. Now put your yarn in half and to attach your fringes you have to go in your double crochet stitch. So go in the stitch just like this. and pull your yarn and this is how we are going to close our fringe I forgot to mention I've started on the bottom and I've counted 11 rows and there is where I'm going to attach my fringes and then I've counted another 13 rows to attach my next um, round of fringes. Thank you. 
like you want to have more fringes you can go ahead and attach between your double crochets another fringe so Okay, so now we are going to make two shoulder straps and then we are going to sew them on our dress. I'm going to use my both yarns and with my 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to make a slip knot and then chain 7, leave a longer tail, so to sew your strap on your dress, so chain 7. yarn over and go in your fourth chain away from the hook and make one double crochet and then another double crochet in each chain Here is my last double crochet, now chain 3, this counts as a double crochet, yarn over and go in your next stitch and make one double crochet and another double crochet. And chain 3, turn your work and I worked like this till I had 29 rows in total and then you are done so this is my dress I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you are going to make this one it's very easy and yet so stylish Thank you for watching and I see you soon in my next tutorial. Bye bye!